Bon appétit! What can turn some simple and rather boring Brussels sprouts into something absolutely fantastic? The answer is right here, a glass. Let's start by cleaning our sprouts. It is sufficient to just remove the base where it is a little ruined and remove any external leaves. The sprouts are cleaned, so it's time to blanch them, and I will let them boil for about eight minutes. They are cooked and drained, so I'll let them cool. In the meantime, I'll prepare the glaze. In a bowl, mix the oil with the barbecue sauce. Lemon juice, some maple syrup, but if you want, you can replace it with some simple brown sugar. To further thicken the sauce, add a pinch of cornstarch, which is absolutely optional. Salt and pepper. Use a tray covered with parchment paper. Grease it with a few drops of olive oil and distribute the sprouts, making sure they are well spaced. And look who has returned to the scene, our glass, which we will now use to squash the Brussels sprouts. Like this, you don't need to exert too much pressure so that you don't break them, but just enough to flatten them, like this. This part is really fun to do, also with your little ones. This is a social media trend that has mainly featured potatoes that are prepared this way squished in a pan and then flavored. However, even with Brussels sprouts, it works great. Once they are flattened, brush the Brussels sprouts with the glaze without forgetting the edges. Prepared this way, the Brussels sprouts will change their nature. They even vaguely taste like bacon. Obviously, I am saying this as a vegetarian, but I am pretty convinced that it is really like this. However, if you prefer, you could also simply season them with some olive oil, salt, and whatever your favorite spices are, and they will still be a great side dish. Our squashed sprouts are ready to be baked in a static oven at 180 degrees for around 20 to 25 minutes. As a dipping sauce for these sprouts, I was inspired by salmorejo. It is an Andalusian dish used as soup, let's say. The winter version is made with peeled tomatoes. In this case, good quality San Marzanos. Next, I will add in some breadcrumbs. To regulate the acidity, I'll add a little bit of sugar, a tiny pinch of paprika, pepper, salt, some lemon juice. Garlic is basically required, but since I can't digest it, it'll be listed as optional, so I won't add any. Start blending and at the same time slowly pour in the oil. We'll need quite a bit. The Brussels sprouts are ready too. Now I will unstick them with a spatula and we can plate them. And our sauce that we made fresh. If you want to make it the day before, it gets even better after resting in the fridge. And a little parsley, a drizzle of olive oil, a few drops of Tabasco, and our Brussels sprouts. For the final touch, some salt flakes. And now we can taste them. These are the best sprouts I've ever had in my whole life. Bon appétit.